everybody. Chris here from Pebble Creek. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so, very exciting week this time. Uh, last week, um, yeah, I was getting tired of those 20 millimeter guns and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad those are behind us. Uh, so this week, we have gotten the, uh, the spotlights done and they are lit up and they, I think they look awesome. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, I think, uh, like a highlight <laughs> one this time. So, uh, last week I forgot to do the, uh, that new tip of the week thing we're doing. So, uh, but anyways, uh, I'll continue on today and today's tip of the week is going to be, uh, mixing balls. And, uh, I've seen a few modelers use them. And I've seen some modelers, they got uh, paint stirrers and they got paint shakers. And I went to the old uh, rattle can way. And uh, they're just uh, a little small stainless steel ball. I get them on Amazon. They're dirt, dirt cheap. And uh, yeah, you just toss one in your paint jar. And uh, what a difference! It gets all the little paint in the bottoms and in the corners. Uh, even with some of these paints here, I got some model masters that have literally been sitting on the shelf for years and years and years. And I threw a paintball in and it actually did a pretty good job of mixing up the paint. Um, so yeah, so tip of the week. If you're looking for a quick, easy way to mix it up your paint, I recommend these... Uh, little stainless steel mixing balls. I got the 5.5 millimeter. Uh, there's all sorts of different sizes, but uh, yeah, I find those uh, to make mixing up your paint very, very easy. So anyways, um, yeah, not much is new. Uh, I got my truck back, uh, my, my truck and my trailer back on a safety check. So things are rolling again as they should be. Uh, yeah, and uh, we got the uh, the spotlights done. So that was that was a great one there. I was I'm quite happy with these. So, anyways, uh, I'll I'll just yammer yammer all day here. So, anyways, let's uh, let's go see how we got these done. Okay. Oh, right here, I'm just drilling a one millimeter hole. And then we'll pass, pass our wires through that. I measured our wires, they're just slightly, they're about 0.8 millimeters when they're put together. So a one millimeter hole will do the trick. Yeah. 
Here I just got some little squares of masking tape cut out and I just want to seal these lights up so that when we paint it the German gray we don't get any paint on the lenses. We want to keep those clean. And then we'll put one on the other side as well here and uh, seal it off. Here I'm using the uh, liquid chrome marker. Uh, I use these on all my chrome trim of my cars and uh, it leaves a really nice finish. Um, you've probably seen these on Ron's uh, show there. It was featured when Gabe came to visit and he did a really nice demonstration on these. So I'm gonna do the backs and the insides of these spotlights with the chrome and that will give us a nice reflective surface for the LEDs. Now I'm using that same chrome marker here on the inside of the uh, spotlight housing. And I'm having a hard time filming and doing the job at the same time here. I don't want to accidentally touch the, uh, the lens with the marker. But this will give us a complete reflective inside the housing and what I want to do is have the bulb facing backwards so we want as much reflective as possible Right here we're drilling another one millimeter hole. And this is right in the very bottom of the housing. <sighs> Sorry about the focusing here. I'm just going to pass the 
the LED in and the bulb is actually going to be facing towards us. I'm just going to get spun around here. I'm just going to apply just a touch of hot glue here just to hold the bulb in place. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple little dots of uh, CA uh, medium here and then I'm going to apply the uh, the trumpeter grate cover for the light because it's still transparent. It's got all the slats uh, etched into place whereas the, uh, the Pontos one, the slats are etched in but they're solid. Uh, no light's going to go through. So this here is the trumpeter grate and I got this one painted natal black. So I'll go on like so. And then on top of this, the uh, The Pontos kit has the bars separately applied. So we're, I've cut those off and I'm going to apply that on top of the trumpeter one here. All right, so we're here with Lauren. Say hi, Lauren. Hi. And she's got her plasma ball down here, and we got her LED light, and it's already glowing. I don't know if you can see, but as we bring her closer, What's up? it just gets brighter and brighter. Now that's neat. That was a cool experiment. Yeah. I got another LED kicking around handy. Okay, so it's already lit up. Alright, so we're this far away. It's 
just starting to light up. Mm -hmm. As we get closer and closer, it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Very neat. Very neat experience. Well, thanks for bringing that down, Lauren. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it uh, this week. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting them together. Um, so, yeah, I'll put some pictures up. Um, I put it in a temporary spot on the deck there just so I can run some power to it and get some photos of it all lit up so you can see. But, uh, yeah, that's not the, the spot there it's going in. But, anyways, uh, thanks to all our new subscribers and uh, everyone else. Welcome back. And, uh, Take care. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.